Okay, greetings everybody. It's time to talk about this guy right here. We are going to be talking about Rurugia. Lulugia. I have no clue how his global pronunciation be. And for the sake of this video, it's not really important because we're going to be taking a look at whether this character is good or not. So Lulugia, the Earth Warrior of the Crystal. I think one of the Warrior of the Crystal characters elements that I've seen the most people asking for. Like, you know, people have said Astoria should have been Earth, he should have been Dark, he should have been blah 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 blah. Doesn't matter. Like, Earth is just one of those those elements that I've been seeing people wanting that Warrior of the Crystal for this element for the longest time. And finally, he's here. So, is he worth the wait? Well, you know what? Our incredibly, uh, like, bookish looking character, you know, because glasses, but a great looking limit burst that kind of even shows a little bit of character of him being kind of uh, timid, maybe a little bit uh, overzealous in his attack. Uh, it's greatly thematically themed, and I quite like watching this limit burst. I mean, it's very, very high production qualities to some of uh, the other limit bursts, and uh, kind of one of my favorites. Uh, Catastrophe looks great right here but uh all right so let's evaluate this character on different points and then we're going to do a little bit of a test run so it's going to be a long video but let's get going so starting off is the tmr worth it well the tmr is a 318 hp accessory 12 accuracy and 12 defense now the ability i did make a mistake yesterday because it was the end of the day and i was tired but increase defense by 20 for three turns for self and grant protect for the target now the defense increase is fine uh honestly might be kind of interesting more on a tank based character for a physical based tank uh but the granting protect is a nice extra benefit but it does feel like there is enough uh potential removal that protect might not even be that great so the tmr i think is fine I, i'm not out of my mind crazy for this thing and I feel like there are definitely some better TM. That could mean just that there's a better character here instead of a TMR bait. But yeah, I, I think it's fine. I think it's good. I just am not incredibly excited about it. So let's jump over uh, to our next screen. And we're going to take a look at character in question itself. So let's, uh, what's a good map? I haven't you know what uh the void void quest perfect for what we want not even that difficult this time around uh but we'll be able to test it out so first off in an earth elemental party here he is full 120 equipped with the uh, ranged coat as well as his own tmr odin the ifrit which i assume that his vision card next week will probably be quite nice for taking the place of this but until then this is what we're looking at and also, last but not least, uh, the one of the job-based vision cards. Uh, all of this equals out to these stats here, about 6,800 HP, 100 speed, which is pretty nice, uh, dexterity, luck as follows, 121 attack with these vision card combinations. And as for resistances, we can take and 20, 20, 20 for everything. Uh, that really, really matters. So no strike resistance and a weakness to piercing, but very strong against slash, uh, very strong against uh, shooting, very strong against magic. In the flavor of about 20% equipment, Esper, and Vision card. Now, honestly, the thing that's going to stick out to me with this, he's not going to win against wind, and he's not going to be a game changer against wind. That's fine i wasn't really expecting it with this kind of character but against lightning honestly pretty good across the board for what lightning's been peddling the last few months shooting uh slashing and magic basically all the new characters and the most powerful characters in lightning so he should be incredibly good in all of those matchups and 40 percent lightning resistance here uh yeah just should be really good interestingly though based on some of the elemental stuff we're seeing I think he might be actually okay against the ice matchup too. 
uh, potentially strong, physically defensive character. Most of Ice kind of feels like it wants to be physical right now, especially since Zoma on JP not really that popular. As for slow resistance and blind, this feels okay and good, and I don't really feel like... Oh, sorry, stop. Resistance. All feels good across the board, but nothing that's really, really getting me all excited about. Uh, but, across, but honestly, the character stats are pretty good. Let's take a look at Oberyn, who in the same party, you can see kind of a little bit of the stat differences. Both of their um, speed is roughly the same, but with a little bit of a caveat that um, Oberyn does have a upgraded TMR, boosting his attack. And this is one of the things that I can only hope will be kind of fixed the following week. Uh, with a brand new vision card hopefully this time around we're going to see a vision card that is not limited that will be more offensive for the earth elemental ones as i think that the, it's the ff15 noctis card which is one of the primary advantages for earth and earth has been trending a little bit towards mage for you know the last little while with characters such as mashari getting released we have ruel and kalf who have also been getting highly upgraded so you know it does feel like earth has been trending more toward magical it does give you some flexibility whether you want to go physical or magical with earth as an element right now but you know it it is worth noting exactly what this character looks like compared to um uh, uh um, padres i don't know where that. but anyway you can get an idea for what his element is so what are we going to be testing him with today we are going to be testing him with our three on three that's not the right one wanted uh this is the one so this is comprised of the dark element right now because dark is one of the more common things that you see in arena in jp with the jp arena bonus going very heavy toward Halloween Lucia, and also giving an AP and magic boost. Now, unfortunately, I'm sorry for the testing of this video. Uh, Halloween or Halloween Lucia is not fully 120, and neither is Majin Fina, as I have not been focusing dark for the last little while. And uh, let, let's uh, let's go in and to the mission uh, so we can get a little bit of a vision. Ha ha. And uh, before we go in there, we'll just make sure we're at 1.5 times speed to give you guys a little bit of a look at the animations. Let me just think if this is a clever way of doing this. Ah, forget it. Let's go. And so I think it's important that we do talk about skill set at this point, and we should talk about equipment. We are going to see a couple animations here. Now, my last video was about Alaya coming to global. And honestly, uh, the reason that I wanted that video out first was it was going to be a good comparison versus this guy. Um, because both are effectively new gunners that have come out recently. And you can see here that much like Alaya, his movement is decreased by a support skill. So his support skill that we are specifically thinking about is a range increase of two, which I am just... Because once we're in the mission, it's a little bit more difficult to add support skills and whatnot. Um, so here we go. Uh, upgraded into his EX, range plus two, missile attack resistance penetration of 40, very strong for a range-based character. As for his other main one, initial AP increased by 15, accuracy by 25, and decrease move by 1. Much like Alaya, this is more than likely what you are going to be running. Nothing else here looks particularly that good. Maybe missile attack up and luck up from sniper is particularly nice, but as for the healing power and HP, could be interesting from Dragoon, as we're going to see talking about Rurugia's kit. Counter... His primary one that is brand new is chance to counter all damage with some damage and inflict, immobilize, increase uh, counter uh, physical, da, 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 decrease accuracy for the target, and counter all damage and absorb AP. 
out of the three, I honestly think that maybe Dragoon might be interesting in certain situations, but since there are lots of ranged abilities out there with mages right now, I feel like a probably his main one will be the best, but it's not preemptive and it's definitely not like Alaya where she can just eat uh, damage, which could be a little bit um, of a down for this guy instead of just damage. Taking a look at what is special about this guy's kit, Limit Burst does deal damage and gives him auto restore of only 5% for three turns. Devit does have initial AP and is going up here uh, to talk about the character. He does have a decreased AP consumption down by 20 or in his master ability. So AP consumption, uh, probably that's why auto restore is a little bit uh, low here because he probably, he just isn't going to have that high of cost. Dragoon does have the interesting of increasing attack and granting protect and uh, increasing uh, block rate. So all of that is potentially good. It does give him higher movement and jump, but that's not really what we're trying to get here. As I've shown off, it's good with Alaya. Increasing bravery and jump attacks are kind of weak. So Dragoon doesn't feel like it brings too much. Sniper, on the other hand, can give him extra defense, uh, penetration, and a range increase for three turns. Decrease agility, disable, uh, Esper Killer, which is good for uh, PvE content. 25% uh, chance to inflict Paralyze, and break physical barriers. Sniper actually looks really nice for this character, as he can deal out uh, a good amount of attacks and give himself some nice buffs. Uh, what he's giving up, though, is kind of interesting. A piercing-based damage single target that decreases ability, restores HP for ally and not self, and restores CT for ally and not self. So these are two really interesting support skills. One of the things I've kind of wanted to see for a while is a gunner that does something different, and here we have a kind of healer. Now, with the Dragoon ability, too, he can also increase his healing power. So Dragoon makes a little bit more sense why he, it's here, as Rurugia could be a makeshift kind of heal. And it is a 30% heal, too. So it is a set amount of HP, and Earth characters do have a high amount of HP. So as a range stays back, stays out of the way, and potentially just heals from a distance. Uh, honestly, it's comparable whether you want to run Sniper or Rurugia's main job, uh, whether those are good situationally. Now, looking at the rest of his abilities, we do have a missile resistance, uh, decreased missile resistance by 25%. Uh, just for this cast, on his main ability, uh, increased range and decreased chance of being targeted, which is very valuable to keep him alive. Also allows him to be potentially more of a support and damage dealer without people noticing. Uh, he can decrease move, dispel, protect, and shell for target with a 200 mod and decrease move. This is a upgrade into EX. However, it is a single target. It does have a dual hitter on it, so it feels uh, like pretty good. Here we have the large AoE. It decreases evasion rate by 25. The grants regen by 10%, increases defense penetration by 40 for self, and restores AP by 20, a little bit of AP regeneration while giving himself better damage. Now his job level 25 ability, when casting another attack skill, also launch the following skill. His job level 25, if you couldn't guess exactly what it is, it's Astrius's, uh effect off of his limit burst on an ability with triple cast. Honestly, uh, now it's only for one turn, so it's like not that incredible, but it's not bad either. Like it does give him ways of keeping up his DPS, getting through uh, guts or auto revive, interestingly enough, and he does seem like a good damage dealer. But we're also going to check out his healing power worth it, especially since we do have it set up that way. And we're on a nice mission, which is why we're running this Final Fantasy IX music. Not exactly one of the things we wanted to talk about, but you know what, we're here, let's... 
So we'll move our characters a little bit further apart. We are again in a map with some more serious enemies, kind of. So we do want to be a little bit careful that we don't just up and die. We're not going to be dealing any damage for the first little bit. We're uh, doing all of the fun, fun, fun buff. Okay, maybe we're going to go up to two times speed. That's a little bit slow. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but to me, it definitely uh, like this kind of little bit too slow of animations. Let's run this. Buff there. We, of course, will run this character uh, running her HP barrier because that is one of the stronger ways of dealing physical characters and now we will do just some initial testing let's move in here now if we were to attack over in halloween leela or um uh, leela here of course uh this one would be blocked just by the hp barrier but we can see roughly how much his basic attack is going nothing terribly crazy but let's try out limit burst quickly here You can get an idea for how much damage we are in. We'll test out just a few, look at a few other abilities without doing kind of upgrades. Obviously, over in here, just one of the enemies that is uh, maybe a little bit weaker. Here we see that kind of piercing. And a AoE against multiple target. So interesting enough, and here I... Ah, yes, same AoE. So let's try out a few other abilities. This is his increase a defense TR skill. Here is his HP from a range, so we can see that we're healing about 2,400. Uh, again, that 30% we're in. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even know if increasing healing power will increase above 30%, or if it's just hard-coded. Uh, I guess I would have to have access to that to out, but for now, let's run in here. Let's do his large booster to give everyone a boost. And look at that, we're all healing up. A little bit faster through our enemies' turn, so we can get us uh, get going here. Just so we are not interrupted too much, because we are going to have to kill these enemies to get through this. And don't worry, there are plenty of enemies through. Do just a little bit of damage here. And spread our character out a bit. Still one of my favorite limit bursts, just over and being over and kind of thing. Hopefully we're not going to see a crash here. Get Leela in. And now that we've had a little bit of a boost, once again, we doing, we're doing no damage. Halloween uh, Lucia, because she, of course, has a barrier. We can get an idea for what we're kind of dealing 
or damage against these once they've had buffs. DPS feels not super super if we're just comparing it against some of the other stuff here. Uh, we can see what we are doing our enemies, but also as his buffs start increasing, so does his gas. And uh, you know what? We will see if we a one of his job level 25 ability. Especially if I can find which one it is. It is a... Let's see how much this does again. Okay. There's that secondary hit after the primary one. Dealing a good amount of damage to enemy. And coming up here, once our enemies have gotten bored with hitting us, we'll test out a little bit of what others can do to him. So as you can see, magic will tear him apart. This isn't overly all that surprising, as most of the current build that we're seeing with him is focused heavily around defense and not uh, spirit at all. And even with some magic resistance, it will keep him alive, but it may not heal help him all that much survive a lot of attacks as you can see Majin Fina is just pretty darn strong here again testing out just some basic attacks that we here So, less successful, obviously, Majin Pina being generally stronger overall does feel uh, particularly powerful here, but uh, him against mages is not something that I would say is going to be his great day. That, and we're going to get a couple more things spawning in him. And testing out some physical attacks against him. Alright, now, given the situation and where he is and everything, I'm curious what his AI will do. So we've tested out a little bit, and this is what I've noted off of the primary thing uh, to do with this character. First of all, I would say that, honestly, his DPS doesn't feel quite as good as I thought it would be. It feels a little bit lower, but honestly, it also feels like part of the problem with that is that... Uh, definitely feel like I'm still missing some Earth Offensive Vision cards, which has always been the kind of thing. I've seen that my magical teams have kind of taken off for the Earth element, but not so much my physical ones. As for his healing capabilities, they definitely feel nice uh, to provide that from a, a at a pinch uh, when you are in a situation where you really need it from a distance. But nothing, none of the healing feels super amazing. His healing right next to where he allies surrounded of him is going to be good at the start of battle and get probably over time uh, because he is going to be further back most of the times from other characters but that other characters are still in fact moving forward as for his dps it does feel a little just not as amazing when we're talking about like looking towards people it does look quite good 
in just other cases. It doesn't feel as good as a Paya. Then again, we just saw him take out quite a few enemies. It does feel like he will have a high amount of accuracy lot uh, of different enemies. So yeah, uh, honestly, Rurugia probably not necessarily going to end up being one of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, does feel just a little bit not as strong uh, physically as I thought it was going to be. And the other thing that's making it really, really hard to say whether or not like this is going to be a good character is just, you know, what is that vision card going to be the following week? What is coming with anniversary? Are we going to see better? Like wind is already really strong. There's a lot of different magical teams right there. And I am apprehensive one because it doesn't feel like he can particularly, at least from what I've tested thus far, uh, kill other characters as efficiently as they might be kill him. Like, Majin Pina is a lot of different places on JP and a very, very strong character and hard to kill, so it get there. And currently, we're looking at a lot of uh, damage against our other units. Uh, he survives here. I want to see right now his AI prioritizes healing because we can look at it right now as Oberon is almost entirely dead. Uh, some of our other characters are well uh, banged up. So will his character, especially with no AP either, focus on healings? See what he does? No. That is more than a little concerning because his AI doesn't seem prompt at all healing. Also, why am I logged to this screen right now? I hate when games do this. Interesting. I don't know when Bluestack started. Oh, I must have clicked the button. <laughs> All right. Well, that's staying in. Yeah. So um, initial tests of Berugia feel effectively like this. I think that he is an interesting character uh, with the right vision cards. He might even be much stronger than I'm giving him credit for. But it doesn't seem like his AI is particularly interested in healing, which kind of discounts part of his kit. Uh, in terms of manual PvP, he might be really interesting, especially with as job BCs continue to expand in the future. There is a lot of support for gunners in those job BCs with physical human killers. So yeah. I think that manual character might be absolutely outstanding, especially with some ranged healing in it uh, that is based on just like a gunner style attack. But I'm, I'm not overly convinced at this moment that he is the uh, best character or, or a really big game changer for the el earth element. That being said, I think Earth aficionados with all the vision cards will probably find much more success with me. So uh, we'll be testing him a little bit more. But for right now, I feel like he's okay. But you should probably wait to see what's going to be coming on Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a fair amount of else. And see you next time.